Hi everyone! Magandang gabi! On this video, let's learn the Tagalog prefixes nakaka, naka, at maka. Let's start with nakaka. Example or halimbawa using nakaka, let's pretend that nasa park tayo or we're in the park. And I just saw you rubbing a flower on your skin because you said it smells like mint. So I saw you and I know that that plant or that flower is poisonous. Poison lason. So I told you, don't do that. Nakaka lason yan. Nakaka lason. Or, sa English, it is capable of poisoning you or it can poison you. Another example, let's say you walk in the kitchen and your wife is cooking and it smells good. At, you wanna say, wow, that smells good. It's making me hungry. Nakaka gutom. Gutom. Sa Ingles, hungry. Nakaka gutom. What you mean is, it's making me hungry. Nakaka bata. Nakaka plus bata. Nakaka bata. Bata can either mean a kid or a child or it can also mean young. Example, here, if you use this every day, nakakabata. Nakakabata. Sa English, if you use this every day, it can make you look younger or it's capable of making you look younger. Another example, if someone did something and it's making you mad, you can say, nakakagalit. Nakaka plus galit. Nakaka galit ang ginawa mo. Or sa ingles, what you did is making me mad. Nakaka galit ang ginawa mo. At also, last example, if you mean to say sa ingles, are you able to sleep at night? Nakaka tulog. Kaba sa gabi? Are you able to sleep at night? Nakakatulog ka ba sa gabi? Or Are you able to walk? Nakakalakad ka ba? Next is naka and naka is used to describe appearance. So, you can use naka to describe someone else to describe how someone else look like or their appearance or your appearance. So, example, I, ako. I'm going to describe what I'm wearing or my appearance. First, I'm wearing an earring or nakahikaw ako. Nakahikaw ako. Naka quintas, quintas necklace. I'm wearing a necklace. Naka quintas ako. And I'm wearing a bracelet. Bracelet. Naka bracelet ako. Naka bracelet ako. At naka sapatos ako. Naka sapatos ako. I'm wearing shoes. Naka, what else? Naka, puti ako. Naka puti ako. Puti, white. Naka puti ako. It's not a complete sentence but it's understandable that I'm wearing a white shirt or a white top. 
And if you wanna say it completely, nakaputi ako ng t-shirt or nakaputi ako ng damit. Or maybe you're wearing a black jacket. You can say, nakaitim, black itim, nakaitim ako ng jacket. And if you're wearing a hat, you can say, naka sombrero ako. Sombrero, hat. Naka sombrero ako. Or if you're using an umbrella, you can say, naka payong, payong umbrella. Naka payong ako. Example, naka upo ako or I'm sitting. Naka upo ako sa upuan. I'm sitting on a chair. At if you're lying on the bed, you can say, naka naka higa ako sa kama. Sa ingles, that means I'm lying on the bed. I'm standing. Naka tayo ako. Naka tayo ako. Now, let's use the prefix naka to describe other people's appearance or position. If you saw a group of people and you wanna say, Oh, I saw them. Nakita ko sila. Naka puti sila. They're wearing white. Naka puti sila ng damit. They're wearing white clothes. Naka sombrero sila. They're wearing hats. Naka chinelas sila. They're wearing flip-flops. Nakapayong sila. They're using umbrellas. Naka jacket sila ng pula. They're wearing red jackets. An example ng position or position. Nakaupo sila. They're sitting. Nakaupo sila sa upuan. Or nakaupo sila sa Silia. Upuan and silia both means a chair. Nakaupo sila sa silia or nakaupo sila sa upuan. Naka tayo sila. They're standing. Naka nakahiga sila sa kama. They're lying on the bed. In addition to naka being used to describe appearance or position, naka is also used to state something or an action that already happened. Example, if sa ingles, you want to ask someone, were you able to sleep? Were you able to sleep? Or, were you able to sleep last night? Nakatulog ka ba? Nakatulog ka ba kagabi? Kagabi? Last night? Nakakain ka ba? Were you able to eat? Nakakain ka ba ng breakfast? Were you able to eat breakfast? At... Were you able to sleep last night? Nakatulog ka ba kagabi? And you wanna say, yes, I was able to sleep last night. Oo, yes, nakatulog ako kagabi. Were you able to eat breakfast? Nakakain ka ba ng breakfast? Or nakakain ka ba ng almusal? At you wanna say, yes, I was able to eat breakfast. Oo, naka 
nakakain ako ng breakfast. Or, oo, nakakain ako ng almusal. With the prefix maka, unlike nakaka and naka, something hasn't been done yet. It's not in the present and it's not in the past. Example, I'm going to cook. Magluluto ako. So you can eat. Para maka kain ka. So you can eat. Para makakain ka. Another example, I'm going to turn off the TV now so you can sleep. I'm going to turn off the TV now so you can sleep. So you can sleep. Para makatulog ka. Para makatulog ka. At last example, Here's a glass so you can drink. Here's a glass. Heto ang baso. So you can drink. Para maka inum ka. Para maka inum ka.